Yeah, if you want to get the bingo, it's time, time for, for post-production. Go The process begins by digitizing the motion capture footage. This digital information is transmitted to the exposed metal heart of a robot who flies to the moon and delivers the footage to Astrobase Go, a moon orbiting space station. Once at the Astrobase, the green chroma key screen is replaced with a more pleasant lilac colored one. Then, the painstaking process of removing Doc from the shot begins. Using a giant computer, Doc is isolated. Yet because of how scrawny he is, the actual removal process has to be done by hand. After this, the background is filled with a picture of a mannequin head and a trophy on a bucket. This is done for obvious reasons. Now that Doc has been removed, we notice that he was in front of Jackson's leg. By simply locating another leg, in this case Mike's, we can use a cloning technique to repair Jackson's lost limb. There. It's seamless. Now we use more computer magic to remove our actors and leave only the motion points. These are connected in a wireframe known in the industry as a snowboy. Looks more like the constellation of Jack and Jill, right Billy? <laughs> but whatever. Now for the hard part. The snowboy footage is packed up and sent by a rocket to Noodle Soup. At Noodle Soup, they begin the back-breaking labor of removing the picture of a mannequin head and a trophy on a bucket from every frame. Next, a grid is placed over the snowboy. Feeding this information into Tommy, a 40-year-old supercomputer housed in the bowels of Noodle Soup, the extrapolation takes place. After Tommy completes his task, actual human animators kind of ignore everything and just draw Hank and Dean on paper. This stack of paper is rocketed to the moon for Astro Base Go to finish their magic. Using lasers, the boys are cut out from the background. Once again, the picture of a mannequin head and a trophy on a bucket is placed in the background. Now, using a nice pair of very sharp scissors and some colored paper, the now legendary decorative elements are created and placed in the scene. And with the aid of a modified record player, the scene comes alive. Now let us watch the fruits of two men in leotards, an eight-foot robot, two rocket ships, a moon-orbiting space station, a supercomputer named Tommy, and scores of animators back-breaking labor. Go Team Venture!